Hi, my name is Viridiana Edwards. I am a medical cannabis scholar, entrepreneur, and advocate. I am also the leader of operations for Texas Veterans for Medical Marijuana Access. In 2015, I received a medical retirement from the U.S. Army after 10 years of service due to injuries that I sustained while serving in Kandahar, Afghanistan. These injuries led me to seek care with the Department of Veterans Affairs. Unfortunately, the treatment that the VA provided ended up harming me more than helping. This led me to find medical cannabis. With medical cannabis, I finally found relief. It helps me with my chronic pain, my PTSD, and most importantly, it helps me be a better mother, wife, and citizen. Today, I ask that you consider adding more conditions to the Texas Compassionate Use Program. The limited condition list excludes many Texans, such as myself, that suffer from chronic pain and PTSD. Additionally, the THC cap of 0.5% further hinders the ability for patients to successfully use medical cannabis in Texas. Today, I ask that you consider adding more qualified conditions to the Texas Compassionate Use Program and removing the THC cap so more Texans, such as myself, can find relief. My name is Dave Bass. I'm a veteran. I served 25 years in the Army, and I illegally use cannabis as medicine for chronic pain and post-traumatic stress disorder. A friend of ours, a veteran of the Texas National Guard, uh, created an artwork called Trapped, and uh, his artwork showed a soldier trapped in a bottle. And uh, we started Operation Trapped, and now hundreds of veterans all across Texas have given us pill bottles uh, of a soldier trapped inside the bottle, and they put a message in here for Governor Abbott uh, telling Governor Abbott why veterans need medical cannabis. We use medical cannabis instead of opioids and psychotropic medications uh, because we don't want to take those pills. They have terrible side effects. Uh, we prefer to use the natural plant cannabis because that's what helps our PTSD and our chronic pain and we have no side effects. We want a whole plant medical marijuana program in Texas. Thank you for your support. I started healing myself with medical cannabis the day I left the Army. A decade of service at West Point and active duty left me with physical pain in my back, knees, and shoulders, and mental pain that I treated with antidepressants. The VA told me this was all not service-connected. When I started treating myself with medical cannabis, my physical and mental health actually got better. Low THC cannabis never worked for me. The amount I have to take to feel relief is restrictive. The current teacup program makes me feel left behind. I just want my legislators to trust us now the same way that they trusted us to keep America safe. I'm Dr. Wendy Askew and I'm a veteran of the United States Air Force and I'm also a physician with over 20 years of practice in medicine. And I decided to try cannabis medicine as an alternative treatment for my severe psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis after learning about how cannabis medicine works within our bodies and learning of its potential benefits for so many conditions. Since then, my disease has been completely controlled through cannabis medicine alone. During my time in the military, the combination of combat deployments and training accidents resulted in several injuries that caused me chronic pain. The military addressed my pain with regular use of heavy narcotics, muscle relaxers, and surgeries. I also took part in pain management, meditation courses, physical therapy, restorative yoga, and, and many other things. Some of these interventions helped, but the relief was often temporary and often at great expense. Heavy narcotics would address the pain, but would leave me feeling like a zombie and detached from my home life. In 2017, while I was still on active duty and I was stationed here in San Antonio, Texas, a medical provider with the military recommended I take part in the military's trial use of marijuana to treat pain. I was skeptical, but agreed, believing it would be another failed attempt to help me with my pain. I was wrong. The use of marijuana to address my pain allowed me to enjoy life again, to stop self-medicating with alcohol, a reality that is extremely common in the military. Furthermore, it helped me with my sleep, PTSD issues, and overall quality of life. 
Uh, the VA diagnosed me as a chronic alcoholic with PTSD, depression, panic attacks. Oh, and they did the best to help me, but all the treatment and the drugs didn't help. I drank myself into the ICU, and after I recovered, cannabis helped me regain my life. Veterans like myself and others need cannabis with THC to treat our PTSD symptoms safely and effectively. The VA medication is harsh with very bad side effects that can make our symptoms worse. Alcohol is readily available and I and other veterans can too easily abuse it in attempt to mask our PTSD symptoms. Cannabis is natural and safe and we need it in all its glory. I'm a Republican, a combat veteran, a military retiree with 23 years of service. I have PTSD. And I was officially diagnosed in 2003 upon my return from the Iraq war. Up until two years ago, my irrational outbursts of anger, unpredictable behavior, uh, they kept increasing. It kept getting worse and worse. Thousands of my fellow Texans and Texas veterans suffer from debilitating illnesses such as chronic pain, post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injuries. And the medications prescribed by the VA, this cocktail, it's not good. I'm an Army veteran. I enlisted just before my 19th birthday and experienced my first sexual assault within six months. It wasn't the last and it wasn't the worst. I'm prescribed 11 different medications by the VA. And these drugs are supposed to battle depression, ease anxiety, prevent nightmares, and provoke, promote mental health. The off-label use of these pills renders them largely ineffective and requires additions of more pills to the cocktail. The side effects of these drugs are almost as crippling as the disorders they are intended to treat. I think about dying every single day. This extension of compassion has the potential to save countless lives. I started using medical marijuana when the pills from the VA were becoming too excessive for me. Uh, two new pills per day that I was taking. I was getting, uh, drinking way too much alcohol and it, my life was, was going to an end. And uh, I was able to use cannabis to help me get better. And it made me a better life for my children, my wife, and my, and my family. Uh, and it's a shame that there's there are not just hundreds of veterans like this, uh, not just thousands of veterans. There are hundreds of thousands of veterans in Texas alone that are doing this that need the help. So I have severe seizures, PTSD, anxiety, eating disorders, you name it. I have it just about. And I was on 11 different pills from the VA. I have to, I've never made it a mystery. I've never been in the marijuana closet to my VA people. And the reason for that is because I wanted them to see the gradual progression that I had. Many Texans don't realize that every day in Texas and across the country, 22 veterans commit suicide. They take their own lives due to service-connected issues that could be mitigated or treated by the ingestion of medical cannabis. So the VA has a history. I believe they want to help us. I believe they can help us. I believe they're sincere in what they're trying to do. But once again, <laughs> they are not putting the research where it needs to go. And I'm disappointed. I love my country. Through the Navy. It was one of my proudest moments of my life. Um. I guess gets my mind off of it. I'm still, you know, kind of tense and, um, you know, I, I get anxiety as well. And, um, I guess with me, I'm always, I always feel like I'm, you know, on alert or, you know, on edge or something. Um, so with cannabis, uh, you know, it does help me relax. It does, you know, help me, uh, concentrate on other things and at least, you know, forget, uh, you know, that I'm hurting or you're not so conscious of it. What I find is, I have no bad side effects. I have something that helps me be able to get through my day 
in a relatively normal fashion. It helps me to be able to relax enough to go out into situations that normally would petrify. Or you go to Iraq and Afghanistan, you come back and you have PTSD, you probably have a traumatic brain injury from you know, IEDs or other kinds of explosions, and uh, you come back and uh, the treatment protocols, the non-medication treatment protocols are gener generally ineffective. And then the medicines, they're put on this, you know, just this uh, cocktail of different medicines. And all these, uh, so medications for pain, for, for sleeping, for psychological issues. And unfortunately, these medications, the side effects are suicide and suicidal thoughts. So eventually that manifests and people try to kill themselves. And the one thing that veterans have found in Texas and across the country and across the world and across their history is that cannabis can be an immediate... Uh, treatment for the symptoms of PTSD and that's what they get they get immediate relief so if they're lucky enough to not kill themselves after trying to and they find cannabis it turns out yeah cannabis is a gateway drug it's a gateway drug to health to life